Hello and welcome to Dialysis Nurses Supporting Nurses Water Room Series. Today I am going to talk about the water room, specifically the water softener. And let me tell you, you are not wrong if the water room is a scary place. Our water room is in the basement. It is behind a locked cage. You're usually there alone and that water room is noisy. And my friend Brittany once got locked behind the cage. So it is, it is scary, but the more comfortable I have gotten with the water room, Room, the less scared of it I am. As a nurse and especially as a dialysis tech, it is super important to be comfortable with the water room. When a state surveyor comes, they will take you to the water room and ask you questions. If you are getting ready to take your certification exam to become a certified dialysis nurse, there will be questions on that exam about the water room. And finally, if something goes wrong in that water room, you need to be able to know if you can continue to run safe dialysis on your patients. Usually when something goes wrong in the water room, I ask Brittany, but Brittany's not always there, and you guys don't have a Brittany, but fortunately, you have me. So please like and subscribe. And now we're going to do the fun part. We're going to talk about the water softener and how it works. Your water softener works through ion exchange, and there's two main parts. You have a brine tank, and if the word brine sounds familiar to you, it's because we brine a lot of our foods. And brine is a fancy word for a solution that has a high concentration of salt. So your brine tank is a big bucket of salt with some water in it. And the second part of your water softener is the resin tank. And the resin tank is filled with resin beads. They have a high affinity, they attract calcium. So first things first, hard water is water with high concentrations of calcium and magnesium. Calcium and magnesium will start to form insoluble carbonate, or in other words, it will start to form scaling. And scaling will thicken on the walls of your RO. It will also narrow the piping throughout your whole dialysis unit. So the primary purpose of this water softener is to protect your RO. So having soft water is going to lengthen the lifespan of your water room and help prevent things from going wrong. All right, let's do the demonstration. First, you have hard water. Hard water is orange in my brain and it has high concentrations of calcium. These are tough. We know those are high in calcium as dialysis nurses. So hard water is going to go into your resin tank. All of your calcium and magnesium are going to be attracted to the resin. So this water is going to go into your resin tank and your calcium is going to become more attracted to these resin beds. So the calcium is going to leave the water and stay with the resin. So then when the water comes out of your resin tank, we have soft water and now it is safe to go to the R and it will not form scaling in your RO will last longer. But at a certain point, these resin beads are going to fill up with calcium and they will be full and water going through it will no longer combine with the resin because the resin's full. So that is where regeneration happens. And that is where our brine tank comes in. I have salt in here and I have bouillon, chicken bouillon cubes, because we know those are high in salt. So this is, this I think is really cool. This is where another ion exchange happens. Again, I'm simply Simplifying it, it does get a little more complicated than this, but I just think it's cool, the idea of it. So that's, that's why I wanna talk about it. To get the resin bath ready for regeneration, the tank will fill up, shake up that resin a little bit, and that resin will expand up. Once the resin tank is ready for the brine solution, you can pour this in here, will combine with the resin. And because there is such a high concentration of salts, the resin is going to be more attracted to the sodium than to the calcium. So the calcium is going to release and then it is going to combine with the sodium. And what do we know about sodium? Wherever salt goes, water goes. And we know that salt dissolves in water where calcium does not necessarily. Calcium causes scaling. Ta-da! That is my summary of how the water softener works. So now here's the question. So what do we do when Brittany comes up and says, Lindsay, we've got hard water, but we can still run patients? I will say, yes, Brittany, you are correct. We need to call and get our water softener serviced, but it is safe to provide dialysis to patients because the water softener protects the RO and the RO protects the patients. Thank you everyone for watching. Stay tuned for more episodes of Dallas Nurses Supporting Nurses Water Room Series. Bye-bye.